guys, welcome back to my channel, Essence of Shea here. Let's get started. Today's video, today's video, today's video will be <laughs> my life, um, not life, life, my lock hacks kind of to like keep locks moisturized and whatnot, like little tricks and tips to get your locks luscious and dry less, <laughs> dry less. You know, your girl has had locks for some time. So I think that I can give you some advice. So I am going to do that. So before we get anything started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, please click that, click that little bell so you know every time I upload. You guys saw, you see that I'm doing better. I like, I'm, I'm giving you two videos a week. I'm staying consistent. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. And to my new subscribers, welcome. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you for joining the family. Let's get right into this video. So this is not really to help with moisturizing, but I do think this is a good hack to have. So number one hack is getting a multi-purpose soap, meaning like a bar, or like a liquid, whatever form it comes in, multi-purpose because, let me tell you something, locks take up a lot of shampoo to them. Bottles and bottles and bottles of shampoo can, you can use a lot of money and ain't nobody got time for that. I don't have time for that. I know you don't have time for that. So invest in an all-purpose, multi-purpose shampoo or soap. A good option for this is Dr. Brown, as you guys know, I live by Dr. Bronner's. Their soap can you be used to brush your teeth, to wash your body, to wash your hair, and really cleanse your hair. So it makes you feel a little better that you're just not always splurging on shampoo, but you're also splurging on something that you can use for other purposes as well. So getting right into the nitty gritty of moisturizing our locks is hack number two. Hack number two, I would say overnight conditioning. We can't use regular conditioners in our locks, unfortunately, because even though as much as you think you washed out that conditioner, it's still left in the shaft part of your locks which can cause breakage which can cause your locks to get thinner because there's now product festering inside your locks that you didn't wash out it's just not a good experience so you can but you can still deep condition your locks and deep condition you can use um oils which you guys already know i live by oils uh you can mix do a mixture of oils if you do not want to even deal with any mixing like a scientist you can go and get some brands like you guys know allocate naturals the essential 17 their lock oil is actually bomb as well saturate your hair and cover it up i would say to put a uh, um a, a garbage bag like a plastic bag that you get from like the corner store or something over your hair and then also put a shower cap and it traps in the heat and whatnot and it helps your hair to moisturize and everything it just leaves your hair feeling so much softer after you wash it and it has helped me so much times with getting my locks to stay moisturized and not so dry and brittle hack number three is adding oils to your shampoo now this seems seems really weird like okay i'm washing my hair why would i add oils to the shampoo because the shampoo is stripping it's cleanse is literally cleansing your scalp it's cleansing your locks that's the point of it. But when adding some oils to it, that it some of the, the oils some of the oils will still be left actually in your hair and won't leave your hair so dry. Trust me, I've tried this plenty of times and it has worked. Hack number four, and I have used others i don't personally have one myself but i do want to get one i have used my friends on several occasions and it works very well and i don't understand why i don't have it in my life but hack number four is 
to get to invest in a portable dryer. Look, air drying the locks is all fine and dandy. But when you have thick, long locks like myself, and I'm pretty sure you guys have it too, it takes a year and a half. A year and a cotton pick in half for your hair to dry. And ain't nobody got time for that. So a portable dryer is not as abrasive as like a heat or a blow dryer. Dries your hair so much faster, so much quicker. It doesn't dry it out like, like strips out the the oils and whatnot into your hair and it's good for traveling say you want to do a little quick little two strand twist because you want some curls but after you wash your hair but it's taking forever to dry throw that bad boy in in about 30 45 minutes your hair is dry girl your curls is popping like invest hack number five is something that i use all the time like when i'm coming from the gym or I've been outside and my hair is sweating and I just need a like a little refresher on my scalp I just need something and I don't feel like using oils or anything like that is aloe vera juice but cold aloe vera juice put it in the fridge put it in a little spray bottle and spray it on your scalp not only is it soothing and cools down the the, the scalp but it also helps to stimulate hair growth and it closes the hair cuticle so it rids of like dandruff and all that extra stuff does so much wonders for your hair you don't even know hey butter coconut oil and like some like some kind of um water solution and i mix it in a spray bottle this i i before that i heated up the shea butter and the coconut oil so it's liquefied and i put it in a bottle with some water solution like distilled water rose water aloe vera juice whatever it is and i spray it all over my hair as like a barrier and what this does is helps my hair <laughs> not get so bone dry and so damaged from the chlorine of the water or the salt from the seawater or the sun like it the sun damage to your hair the changing of colors and stuff like you if you ever noticed like you will color your hair a certain color and then you're in the sun all the time and then the sun changes your color this is sun damage to your hair so i feel like these items kind of protect your hair a little bit let me tell you what shea butter everybody knows it not only protects your skin but it also protects your hair from the sun and from all those extra elements coconut oil we know it prevents uh protein loss and prevents your hair from um shedding and breaking and cracking and the elements girl the elements girl can do some things to your hair so try this out don't do it all the time because it is shea butter so don't do it all the time but when you know on times that you're gonna be outside for a very long time and you just want to protect your hair you're just putting a is almost like sunblock for your hair sunblock for your hair is that girl like just a genius man last and final hack this seems like common sense but you know like my mother says sense is not common and we don't use it enough <laughs> but my last and final hack hack number seven is to put a pillow satin pillowcase not just on your bed but on your car seat if you are a person in a state that you drive a lot you're always in your car so imagine you're always leaning your head on the car seat so that is sucking out moisture and it's causing frizz and it's causing little balls on the end of your lock it's causing a lot of stuff let's put a silk or satin pillow key pillow keys pillowcase on your car seat and you're just protecting your hair even more then you know <laughs> so these are my seven hacks to help keep your hair locks moisturized and juicy looking and yeah 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. If you think I left any hacks out, leave them down in the comment box below. Let's get this conversation started. I'll see you guys next time. See you later, Tiger Lilies. See you later, Tiger. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.